level two. All right, see you in a minute, Nissan. Sorry, uh, level two. Cog classic. I'm just waiting for it to load because I can't even remember what it is. To be honest. Oh yeah, yeah. Nothing too difficult. Sort of a beginner level. Baker I'd say. Company, listen up. I'll let you listen. This is the big one. Operation Overlord: The Air and Seaborne Invasion of Normandy. On H hour D day. <laughs> Seaborne infantry will attack five beaches codenamed Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword here on the coast of Normandy. Utah and Omaha beaches will be attacked by three of our infantry divisions. At the same time, two British and one Canadian division will hit Gold, Juno, and Sword beaches. The Airborne will be landing six hours before H hour, before the air and naval bombardments. The British 6th Airborne Division will be landing here. At the same time, the 101st and the 82nd Airborne will be landing in these areas. The Dews River Estuary here divides Utah and Omaha Beach. The mission of the 101st is to capture the Dews River crossings linking Utah and Omaha Beach and to protect the flanks of Utah Beach. This road here is the main highway that connects the entire Cotentin Peninsula. The Germans have troop concentrations in this region. When those troops are mobilized into a counterattack on the beaches, they'll have to move along this road. The 101st is going to make sure that doesn't happen. Baker Company, that's us, has been assigned this causeway here. The Pathfinders, like Private Martin, will be dropped ahead of the main force and will plant beacons on the ground to mark the landing zones. However, there is no telling what will happen once we're on the ground. So I want all of you to learn the objectives of every unit in both the 101st and 82nd. I also want you to study these maps and photographs until you've memorized them. We will be landing behind the Atlantic Wall, between several German garrisons. We can't expect to be relieved until at least several hours after H hour. This is what we've been training for. Good luck. Hello. All right. Might be talking for a bit. Here we go. Uh, Band of Brothers much? <laughs> nah. Um, it's not really to say anything. Anything to say? Well, the level's loading up. This game's a lot more historically revolved around, if you know what I mean. Right, it's a lot more historical background rather than just like, games like Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2, where it's actually just shoot a load of Russians and win the day. So, you know, you know what happens in the end, you win the war, so. <laughs> Spoilers. June 5th, 1944. These start-up screens reminded me of Age of Empires. Like Age of Empires 2, I think it was. Yeah, Age of Empires 2. God, that game was good. Anyway, called, called Classic. So I'm not going to go into all the details about the different things and the historical backgrounds. But basically, you shoot can ask these. So you can see here I'm actually setting up my options and stuff like volume and stuff and seeing if I can use different controller which is on button layouts, that's it. What the fuck am I doing? There we go. Settings. Put it on to one. Because oh yeah, when I was doing this I wasn't actually listening to the game volume at all. Uh, I had my headset plugged into my computer. And I was, what was I doing? I mean, I was talking to people on Skype and like watching videos and stuff. So, so there's one guy there you have to nail, and that's the last guy for a while. <laughs> I'm creeping around corners like there's people there, but there's not. So don't worry. I cannot see for shit if I'm honest with you. Fucking hell, it's dark. All right, yeah. Do be do be do be do. So I'm gonna try it now. I cannot. Sorry, Leeson's coughing in the background. Um, <laughs> for now, on, I'm going I'm to try and upload regularly. This gives two of Leeson and Minecraft because I I want to sort of do a bit of variety, not just COD. Because after I've done this, and then when Model for Free comes out, you know, I got nothing to do, so might as well start doing other stuff now. Now there's people in the bunker. Simple as. And I'm not gonna lie, I died a hell of a lot. Not on this level, but later ones, I died a hell of a lot. And I was—I didn't know where I was going to keep the deaths in, but then I thought, 
there's no point because if I do, you're just going to watch me die over and over again, and that's not what you want to see. You want to see how I do it right properly, you know. So I'm going to edit them out best I can, and because I'm commentating, I can tell you where I died a lot, so on and so forth. And there are levels in this that, my God, I've got literally when I like record it, I'll have it like part one, part two, part three. And <laughs> on this, I ended up for like the ship level, like part 1.1, 1 .1, part 1 1.2. It went up to something like 1.6 or something ridiculous. Because like, it took me so long to do it. <laughs> it took me like an hour, like an hour, two hours of footage. When really, I'll edit it up, it'll probably like 10, 20 minutes. So, you know, this game is fucking difficult. So don't go into it thinking it'll be easy. In relation to other CODs, I think mean, it's the hardest one I've done. And I've done. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, yeah. And I am um, creeping around corners again. At the start of this, I haven't played Call of Duty in a couple of months, so I was still getting used to the controls and everything and the feel of the Xbox and stuff. So, later on, I, again, later on, a few levels, I'll be much better. Don't worry, I won't be crouching, crouch walking everywhere. <laughs> I think your allies do a lot of work in this. Not a lot of work, but more work than they do in other games. I can't remember. And, and if you haven't noticed already, is a health bar, which is stu stupidly annoying. Thank God I got rid of it. And on veteran, you don't get any health packs. On the other difficulties, you get them, you can pick them up, but in this one, no health packs. Checkpoints, you have to have a certain amount of health. You can't get them with, like, no health, like, a tiny bit of health left. You have to have full health, or I think the maximum... Not only the minimum you can have is 50%, sometimes 75, can't really remember. So, yeah. You know. So, yeah. Talk about health bar, health packs. And, yeah, there actually is ridiculously, like, sniper like. I think people say it's sniper like actually with fucking machine guns on this. And it's just ridiculous. Like, the level design at some points as well. It's mind blowing how bad it is. Like, on veteran. And I don't think there are infinitely small enemies, I'm not sure if I'm one of you. There could be, there couldn't be, I don't honestly know. And if you, I don't know if I share it or not at the start, but I'm playing this on my actual account. So I turned notifications off, and that meant at the end when I actually got it, the achievement, it didn't pop up, which I was a bit pissed off about. But, um, it's because I bought, I got this on my one for two copy. So I downloaded it onto my one, and I couldn't get it on my other offline one, so... Cod Veteran, whatever I called it, so, you know, I had to fucking play it on this one. And people kept inviting me to parties, talking to me and stuff, so I had to turn, turn all that off. Appear offline and head down and go for it, you know? I did this about a month ago. Let me check, how long ago did I do this? Hmm. Video looks quite fun. I did this in July. That's how long ago it is. And today is the 31st of August. So, yeah. Should have really uploaded it sooner. Sorry. <laughs> oh, well, at least it's here now. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm meant to be, what my character's doing on the screen. Um, I don't think there are any more enemies. I could be bullshitting you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go. Is that? No. No, there are no more enemies. End of the level. Stay tuned, rate, comment, subscribe, you know, all the good stuff. See you soon.